What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Team of the Season Brownhill, a 94 rated card that's gone from a 75 common all the way up to the 94. So he is gold packs only for the upgrades and he's a 3 star, 5 star. I don't think he, or did he have an upgrade from his weak foot? He is a 3 star, 3 star on the 75. So he has had a double upgrade on the weak foot, nothing on the skills unfortunately. And there is also another cam in the EFL that most definitely rivals Brownhill in terms of the 94 cam spot. 5'11", medium high, and that is uh, Akpom. Also, CDM right mid and center mid. Stat-wise, we're looking pretty good. 86 pace, 83 shooting, 92 passing, 94 dribbling, 90 defending, and 90 physical alone. Look incredible. He looks very much more on, obviously, the defensive side of anything, but a hunter sorts that out good and proper. 94 pace, 88 shooting. He's got it all, to be honest. Great composure. Agility balance is nice. Interceptions is up there. He looks a very versatile card. And the one thing I've noticed with these EFLs, look at how many look at how many traits he's got. Power free kick, solid player, giant throw in, eh, outside of the foot, and power header. It's going to be an interesting one. They look really good. Let's jump into Brown Hill. He's currently extinct at 380,000 coins, but more than likely he will come on the market very, very soon. So let's have a look. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Give him a run in that middle of the park. Let's see what we've got. Little ball through to Kaka. Gets the chest, gets the shot, but good block from Thiago. And again, he's going to find a first good touch. Rifled with the right. And it's a first goal for Brownhill already. And it's a beautiful strike. Good pairing up and right where we want him. Going to see him off here. Good agility from him. Definitely looking ooh, very slow with the skill moves. That's going to be a big kind of downgrade for him. Obviously, that three-star skill moves is not going to be fantastic for anybody who is... A very quick cam. If we're looking at somebody like a Bernardo Silva, just as we know, team of the season there is absolutely insane. That's going to be a big difference between someone him like him and obviously this EFL chap. Can we find it back to him though? We've got a bit of a long shot on him. Oh, Carvalho in the right, in the way. He's got a good amount of pace though. He's, he's, he's working it forward. That is a shocking pass though. Working it forward fine. The passing seems to be all good. It is literally the skill moves is the only thing straight away that I'm like, okay, this isn't going to cause an issue straight away, but most definitely is not the most, that's unlucky, the most uh, kind of ideal scenario for somebody who is most definitely needing at least a quick getaway. Maybe if you are used to skills, then that's going to be something you kind of have to, to really get on with finding him here is like I say pace wise not a problem at all it tries to find that ball in which is always nice like I said the, the big boost as well from the 75 all the way up to a 94 they've had an absolute cracking boost going forward let's see if we can get it back on him again we've sat him in the the kind of middle cam spot so we know he's just kind of right here in the center because that's going to be the the greatest position for him really because he's going to have most of the options going forward and we want to see what he can kind of do for the wingers what can he do for the striker how can he pick the ball up and do something we've like i say we've got the dribbling the agility side of stuff is absolutely fantastic it's quick it's sharp it's exactly what you need from him there it is again straight through the middle can we get oh, the second touch physicality wise they're not being uh they're the most dominant on the ball straight through the middle it's got plenty of options going forward the pace is going to carry him forward finds a bit of caca with a little bit of a switch up can we find him back or are we going to run into a dead end here? Find it into Brownhill. Getting a little bit of a shake. Oh, I forget. That's the problem. That if I'm so used to having just at least somebody who has got a four-star. Four-star skills and you'd have been golden with this card still. Can we get a bit of a run though? It's, he's managed to find his way all the way through. It's a great assist and Cal uh, Clark Harris with the finish. A great setup. Lovely ball from Garincha straight into the run of him. Pace-wise, like I say, that is beautiful. Has absolutely no problems whatsoever there. Little one-two again. He finds Clark Harris. Keepers out and he manages to punch it. Otherwise, we might have been able to get a seconds on that. Oh, what a run from Akimi and Brownhill gets himself into the box. 
to say that the striker's there, but he was managed to get there first. That is absolutely unbelievable play from him. I don't know how we've managed to get that goal in, but Hakimi with an absolute monstrous run. And then Brownhill's managed to get into the box to get that lovely finish. Set him up on the edge. Looking for a bit of Travella. Oh, that's a stunning ball as well. Straight onto Grinch's foot. And Saliba takes it away. <laughs> so going into the overall, obviously we have got him still extinct. He is, like I say, joint kind of top rating with obviously Akpom. Um, he is 700k, so we will want to do that comparison between the two. So if we do get the comparison here, we should be able to see what are the stats differences. Because the big one straight off the bat is the pace and shooting. Then obviously we notice the defending between the two of them as well is absolutely crazy. So let's have a look and go through them. Both of them, 3-star, 5-star. Very interesting in themselves. I believe what is Middlesbrough, they... EFL, I don't even know if Middlesbrough, let's have a, uh, we'll, in fact, we'll have a look in a second, because I don't know if Middlesbrough are championship or league one, but we'll find out that in a second. So we've got pace and shooting wise, both pretty much go to Akpom all day long, it's a standard there. Shooting wise, oh wait, we have passing, uh, shooting wise, yeah, uh, we know that. Passing wise, that's where Brownhill comes into it, and I think with Brownhill, he's more of the assisting sort of box-to-box -box sort of play. Akpom looks like the player that is the absolute cam. That is what he's all about. But if, again, the more that that happens, the bigger I'm thinking, why has he only got three-star skills? Because that's going to be a big issue as we go forward. Agility-wise, both of them incredible. Good balance. Reactions, ball control, dribbling, all looking very similar. Yeah, twos, fives, fours. You're not going to notice masses of difference between a 95 and a 91 reaction. Slight difference, but definitely not enough to say this one's going to be way better in the long run. Obviously, with the defending, we have got uh, Brownhill doing way better. And then in terms of physicality, that's a lot of physicalness from him. Obviously, 95 and 90, still very, very high end on them stats. But like we say, the free star skill moves is going to be a massive downplay for obviously Akpom because obviously the defending is going to be where Brownhill kind of shines, but also has then the ability to play a box-to-box. -box. Akpom's not going to be able to play a box to box role. He is championship too, so obviously both of them are in that same area. So both of them go together. Teller being another one that can link to Brown Hill as well, which is always nice. And it will be interesting to see what they up that price to because I think if I was looking at the same sort of players there, I'd be saying five, six hundred K at a minimum. I could see why Akpom could do more because he has got the more shooting and pace from a cam perspective. But like we see here, CDM, CM, right mid, he's going to be a very good box to box more than anything. You look at the Hunter, you've got a very very good, well-rounded card there. Everything's above 90 bar from shooting, which again, I'm not too fussed that my box-to-box -box player is going to be the goal scorer anyway. As long as he's got a bit of shot power, a little bit of long shot, that's all I need. He's going to do the tap-ins anyway, so that isn't bad at all. Somebody's going for the anchor, so they are looking more towards that complete DM, if anything, which again, I could see. He is a centre mid in his gold version, and I could see the anchor doing quite well as well. Maybe you wanted to go for shadow, all-out CDM pace, Again, I'd probably say anchor more than anything, but in general, I feel like this one is an absolute beast of a card in terms of an EFL team of the season. So let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure you do like and subscribe on this, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.